What's up? It's Embers. In this video, I'm going to show you how I instant warp while being cloaked in adventure. This is a technique I use several times when I have been mining and I have run into an hostel. Also, I am going to log in my second account and my second account is going to warp in while I'm mining and it is going to represent a hostile ship coming in. This will give you a better idea of what to look for on your screen and, and another indication of when it might be time to warp back to either your station or to a gate. So again, the first thing to always keep in mind is when you're warping into any area, the ships that are already there are going to pop up on your top right as icons before you even land. So as we're landing, you're going to see no ship icons. So you're going to go to your mining tab, you're going to scroll all the way down and lock onto an ore. And once you lock onto the ore, you approach it and turn on your afterburners. The safest way to mine is to spend the least amount of time and space. So invest in a good afterburner and get to your target location as quickly as possible. Another great hostile indicator is the list showing who's in your area. If you click on the icon, you don't really need all the faces. So just click the three lines and it just shows your list. This is really good. As you can see, there is a hostile in this area right now. Perfect timing. Um, ideally, I wish that CCP will allow us to sort this or they would just auto sort it where you know hostiles would be at the top then neutrals then blue then green um, I don't believe that you can sort this at the moment if I'm wrong someone could correct me but if if anyone from CCP is hearing this this would be a great feature to have now I missed this earlier but I did turn on my mining lasers at 21 kilometers so remember to turn them on as quickly as you can so you're not losing any time. Again, the less time you spend in space, the safer you are. Now, again, I always go about five, anywhere between four to six kilometers after my lock target. That keeps me really far away from the warping zone. So right here, after I stop, I'm simply going to align and look at my station or gate or any safe area that you wish to select. Once you're aligned with that, you can long pressure ship and you're going to stop. I would advise you leave the local window up so you can always see who is in your area. If you're mining a low populated area, the list is really short so you can see exactly who's in it. This area is a little busy for the time being so it's hard to see the, the list because you have to scroll up and down. I've already warped in my second account. So the first thing you're going to notice is the ship icon is going to appear at the top right before the ship even warps in. Oh look, there's the hostel again. So we'll just keep an eye on him. And my ship is about to, that's my second account. As you can see, you can already see the icon before he even lands. He lands at 46 kilometers away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cloak. And I'm going to click on the station. And I'm going to approach. And on my other screen, I can no longer see this account. The, the ship is gone. And all I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go dock. And as soon as I click dock, I'm going to decloak. And my ship is going to essentially warp and decloak almost at the same time. On my other screen, which would be the hostel, all I see is my name reappearing at the top right for like a half a second and then it disappears. Again, this is a very effective way for miners to get away safely and dock or go to a stargate and jump. Keep in mind, this only works for docking and jumping. It does not work for warping only. That's it. Thanks for watching. Post any questions below and I'll catch you in the next video.